Oh, sorry, someone went to kill an immortal. If you were immortal and I stabbed you in your heart, what would happen? If I was immortal, I wouldn't die. How do you know that? Because that's what immortal means. Yeah. How do you know? Wait there, wait there. Are you going to redefine oh, the word? No, I'm... Uh, Let's look at the dictionary. A conversation, bro. I know, but you're making up your own definition. No, I'm asking you a question. Okay. If I stab you through your heart, you're immortal, your heart stops, you drop to the floor, your heart puts itself back together again, you come back to, back to life. Are you immortal? <laughs> if someone... Listen, listen. If someone... If I... If you stabbed, if I told you I was immortal, okay. who, and you were who, like, who brought your heart back to life? Who brought your heart back to life? I think we are making this more complicated. Let me finish this point. Let me, let me finish. Yeah. If I told you I was immortal, and you went, yeah, you're immortal. You pulled out a knife and you went, yeah. and I fell to the floor dead. Yeah. I looked dead. And then I got back up. If you're dead, then you're not immortal. So Simple. Wait there. <laughs> if you're dead. I haven't finished, I haven't finished talking to but Let me finish my Okay, go on. I've got back up. You can see the blood, the hole. I'm not dead. Okay. Would you believe my claim that I was immortal? Okay, no, I won't believe that. You wouldn't? No. So what would I be Because, then? because you didn't die from the start. If you didn't die, you're talking what about... I, be I think he's talking about death yeah, and then resurrecting. Death? Two what different things. No, I'm just asking you, like, how would you define... So what would I be if I wasn't immortal to be able to, to be stabbed? You look died, like, you look died. like, look like I was dead, so and then come back to yeah, life. Then you're immortal. Look you like you were no, dead. You, you can't be looked like you're dead. <laughs> yeah. Either dead or not dead. Well, if you don't someone, die, then you're immortal. Simple when, as when that. When someone gets injured yeah. and they start moving, you will call that dead? No. No. Stop breathing. Injured is not dead. Breathing. Stop breathing, yeah. If someone's injured and they stop even breathing, even if he stops breathing, the heart. Listen, stops. listen. Everything. Even stops. no, no, no. If somebody stops breathing, yes, they can be resurrected. To resuscitation, depending how long they stop breathing. So there is a time limit. I do understand yeah. that. So, so it doesn't mean he's dead. Okay, Jesus wasn't resuscitated and it was three days later. Exactly. So it's not a minute later so, or four So the minutes. question is... Brain dead, brain dead. Bro, 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 the question is, did he die for three days that. and three nights? I don't know what that's you what you guys that. say. You're saying he died and resurrected. Exactly. Yeah. So it's not... No, that's what you guys are claiming. Christianity says. He died for us, okay. the and then he rejected. Yeah. Brother, here's the here's the definition so from the. It's not immortal. It's not immortal. I don't know what you would call that then. Immortal. That means someone cannot. Death cannot control him and at also, all. Also, what would you call what he did then? What he did was so it happened. If resurrection. If he's, if he's not, that's called resurrection for a reason. Death. What does resurrection mean, bro? What does resurrection mean? One second, brother. That's important what to know. Mean? Death means that you, your soul and your physical body are separated. Exactly. And where we come from, once someone dies, they don't come back to life. Unless they're resurrected by God. Unless they're resurrected on Judgment Day. So, so, so not even Judgment Day, even so before So for Jesus that. to come back three days after he's dead. Yeah, it's called resurrection. Okay, yes. Then. Not immortality. Not immortality. No. Okay, I'll, thank you for that. Okay, right. so the important point here is resurrection. What does resurrection mean? To bring back to life. From? The dead. The dead. Thank you very much. That is a key point. The question I want you to ask yourself is this. God Almighty, who will never die, does, to whom death doesn't apply, will resurrection ever apply to him? No. Um, not in his mortal form, no. In any form, in will any death form. with resurrection apply to him? In any form. Um, no. God the Father doesn't need to be resurrected. Exactly, exactly my that's point. What, that's the point. The reason Jesus had to be resurrected is because he died according to your belief. Well, he's got the Son, not God the Father, so... No, no, regardless who he is, the, the point is, the reason he was resurrected proves that he is not immortal. Because only mortals are resurrected, not the immortal. Because immortal never dies, hence there is no reason to resurrect them. The only people who need to be resurrected are guys like you, me, and Jesus Christ and the other prophets. Because only the mortals die, and hence only they need to be resurrected. I think I, I you got the point? Okay. I where so you're now going, going back to 1 Timothy 6.16, if you read it, it says, Who alone has immortality, whom no man hath seen or can see. Had people seen Jesus? You're missing the point, you know. I'm not missing any point. I think you are. I'm, I'm bringing you to the point you know to show that it's not about Jesus, know, that is about the Father. Do you know much about Revelation? Have you read Revelation? Which is the book of Revelation? Yeah. You're talking about Alpha and Omega now. No, no. When Jesus comes again, how he appears. Well, why are we going to that point? Is that, is that a point you want to... You, yeah, yeah. I read about it, yes. Yeah. What is the point? Does, is it related to this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what is it you want to I'm asking mention? Whether, whether you know about the description of him and whether you know what was written on his thigh according to the Bible. But what is the point of bringing that in? So How has, is it related So he doesn't to... look like him. He doesn't look like Jesus. And okay. he has a different name. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm saying is the shell that we call Jesus 
that claimed to be God, the Word of God manifested. He never claimed to be Almighty God. He did, you know. Show me where. He said, Show me I where. He's gone now. So he said, I am. The okay, so, so Paul said, I am. What no, is that proof? No, oh, yes. No, Have you not read the Bible? I'll you show you. Yeah, I'll show you the words you where he said me, I am. There is I a. I told you where does it say? You asked me where does it say? I told you where it says. Now you're telling me, have you not read the Bible? But yeah, but read the Bible. The term for I am is what in the Bible? When Let's God revealed read. Himself to Moses, yeah. He said, Moses said, Who shall I say sent me? What did Moses say? Eshe. He said, I am that I am sent you. Eshe, I hear. Okay. Mm. Eshe. So when some, so when you hear someone say, I am. I, so, so when someone asked him, are you the son of God? And he said, I am sent me or I am what I am. What was the question he was asked? Do you no, remember no, that? Let me get the exact thing. Right. Get the worst. No. Get the See, now we are going to another tangent. By the way, it's the Jews that... <laughs> we were talking about the, uh, the, the reason for atonement of sin through sacrifices. Now you are going to another topic about no, Jesus you being went, God. You, we have gone on to many topics. I have no, no. Mistake. The reason I went to immortal Don't is to show like that Adam, when he was created, he was never meant to be immortal That's in the right, first yeah. place. Yeah. That is the reason I brought the topic of immortal, so it's still related to the topic. Now you're going to another tangent about Jesus being God. When Jesus himself See, the, claimed, the I can of myself do nothing. The main problem, As I hear, I obey. The, main problem is, the connection to this is, you're, you're, you're saying God doesn't need to... God is immortal. Yes. And, and Jesus I, is not. Right, right. So that's why we're going to this. Because you asked me to show me where God said it was. No, but we already proved that Jesus resurrected according to your belief. The no. fact that he was resurrected is because he was not immortal. You see what I mean? Only an immortal is not resurrected. But every other mortal well, is resurrected. That's, that's according to your understanding. Well, you tell me who's resurrected. Can an, does an immortal according need to, to be resurrected? Understanding. I'm not going to disagree with you. I just said that's, that's your understanding. No, no. Your understanding. Does an immortal need to be resurrected ever? An immortal? Well, if I look at the Greek mythology, Roman mythology. Forget mythologies. Well, we don't believe in mythologies. Okay, so when you We believe that, in the scriptures. So, so the immortal that you're describing comes from mythology? No, no, dies. no. I gave you the Bible, Bible verse. Bible. Unless you're telling me the Bible is mythology. I told you the Bible verse talked about Jesus, who is immortal, and you said it wasn't, it wasn't about... But him. Jesus cannot be immortal because he was resurrected. That's your understanding. Was he not resurrected? That's your, did he die? Yes, according to you. Back to life? Resurrected. Who else has been resurrected since Jesus, before or after Jesus? Jesus. Then who because has been resurrected? Now you are going into that asking, mode again. Calm down. Asking, let's wait have a, there, wait there, hold let's on. have a discussion. You've been in mode. You've Sorry? Been, you've been raising your voice all this time. I haven't asked you to quiet no, down. I'm once. not raising my voice. Then you try to make me out to be like I'm raising my voice. No, no, it's not I about raising the voice. It's, it's a tone this now. This is not a fair... Um, no, it's a tone. It's a tone. Just calm down. It's a tone. You're saying, what did Jesus... You're making me look like I'm being unreasonable when I'm trying to be reasonable. I told you Jesus, according to you, died and was resurrected. This proves that he was not immortal. Yes, be fair. Based on the definition, you know, I'll give you the strong concordance. The strong concordance defines what immortal means. And it means freedom from death and not perishable. Go on. I need to find, okay. What is, what is it you're trying to prove here? About the I am? Jesus is God, when he said he was God. And you see, Jesus is so... Um, profound what he said was so profound it went a lot of what he said went over our heads because we think in carnal and mortal terms what are you quoting by the way okay so this one is john chapter 8 56 to 59 so jesus in response to the pharisees question who do you think you are said your father abraham rejoiced at the thought of seeing my day start a bit before yeah, start, start at 54 okay, right. who accused who accused who of what exactly because we need to understand the question that was asked by the Pharisees to him. No. Because unless you get the context, the question by the Pharisees was never, are you God? Yeah. They never asked no, him that. No, but I think the Pharisees were, they're, they're putting a claim against him, which is denied. No, yeah. they're asking, are, are you the Christ? No, they're asking, are, are you, you the, the son of God? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am. Yeah, but the question wasn't, are you God? It, it's significant in context because that was how God revealed himself to Moses. So he's not saying he's not. And he's not saying yeah, he's... The, 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 Let him bring the words, bro. Let him bring the words because um, we'll just prolong this unnecessarily. See the question of the Pharisees. What verse he was? So the Jews have just, just accused him of having a devil in him. That's what's happened. Now bring, bring it from 854. John 8, 54. So Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my Father that honoreth me. Exactly. Of whom you say that he is your God. Mm -hmm. Yet, 
you have not known him, but I know him. Yeah. And if I should say I know him not, I will be a liar like you. Yeah. But I know him and keep this saying, your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day and he saw it and was glad. And he said, to, and, and said the Jews unto him, you're not yet 50 years old. Have you seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them, Beverly, Beverly, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. Yes. So now the point you need to understand is this. Did they ever ask him, are you God? No, they did not. They only asked him that you're not even 50 years old. The point, bro. You see, you're not letting me finish. You're I let you finish. Point, I let you finish. Let me finish. And you need to listen instead of just being basically out of zone round. So are you understanding the question they asked him? Did they ask him, are you God? I don't think you understand. I'm asking you again, try to listen, understand. Did they ask him, are you God? You're starting to insult me. You're, what you're saying is insulting. This is the third time I'm asking. Did you're they ask him, me. how am I insulting you? I'm asking you, insulting did they ask him? Me. You're insinuating what? that I'm not listening, that I'm zoning out, and that I don't understand the book that I'm reading to you. Yes, you don't. Okay, I believe this and you don't believe this. Okay. I've read this. If you believe I've it, studied this. that's fine. Probably more than you okay. studied it. So if you've studied so don't it, tell oh me that I don't God. understand. If I you haven't have... finished my sentence, so you need to be quiet and let me finish my sentence. Okay, finish your sentence, go on. Now I've finished it, you may speak. Good. If you understand the question that the Pharisees asked, please let us know what that is. What is the question they're they asked him? him? So they asked him, did you know Abraham? Oh, well, Carry on. And he said, before Abraham was. Okay. I am. Good. Now the question to you is this. You don't understand what he's You see, you're doing it again. Let me finish asking the question. Okay. Did they ask him, are you God? You want to find that bit? No, no, here, here, in this context. That bit for me is the most profound statement. But because you don't understand what is being said, you don't see the Why truth. Why don't you answer the question I'm asking you? What are you asking me? This is the third time I'm asking. No, Did they fourth, ask him, the okay, time. the fourth time, which is even worse in your case. It's not worse in my It case. is because if I ask you the fourth time and you still it. don't answer it, then there's something wrong here. With you or me? The person who's You're either asking the wrong question okay, can or you I please, don't have the answer. Can you please, if you don't have the answer, just say so. I'm calm, you know. If you don't have the answer, just say so. If they did not ask him, are you God? Then why are you insinuating that by saying I am, he's implying that he's God? I've just given you one example. That to me, for me is the most profound example. You see why I said you're zoning out? Because like I said, this is the fourth time I'm asking you. Or the fifth, yeah? And you're still not answering the question. Did they ask him? Let me ask him. They did did ask they him. ask him? If he are God? you God? Yeah. Did because they ask him that? Because no, they didn't. Said, they did not ask him are you God. Before Abraham, uh, before Abraham, Abraham was, was, I was. Uh, before I am Abraham was, I am. No, no, I but am. even before right? that, by the way, yeah. Jesus was making a different statement. No, yeah, no, no, no. Are you God? He would have said Jesus, Abraham would have. I think what did you understand? What you understood from me? My understanding is 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 the word of God. No, no, no. Is is say it. I'm just say it. I'm answering. No, because of that statement. Yeah, yeah. Because of what that. What do you? What did you understand from me? From what I understood was Jesus was alive before Jesus was born. So what does it mean? That, mean? that he is the Alpha and the Omega. Okay, can I show you somebody else who's the Alpha and Omega? No, no, wait, wait, wait. Are you saying Jesus is God because he's the Alpha and Omega as well? Let me ask you. Do you know? Okay. Do you know about Melchizedek? Yeah. Did he exist before? With it God? Says, it says that they couldn't find his genealogy. But there's no mention of his genealogy in the Bible. That, that word, what he just said, is not in the Bible. That is your own interpretation. Did, did... Okay, the point is this. If Jesus is Alpha and Omega, then so is Melchizedek. Because he had no beginning, no end of this. Yes? He had no mother, no father. Yes? Jesus at least had a mother. Okay, how much do you know about Melchizedek? I know based on what's in Hebrews 7.3. So you're using the Bible. I've been using the Bible all this time. Okay, you're using the example of Melchizedek. Yeah, from the Bible. Is, the, is Melchizedek in the Quran? It's not in the Quran. No. So your understanding of Melchizedek comes from the Bible. Yes. Just like everything else I told you from the Bible, okay. I'm saying Melchizedek. If you believe Jesus is God, then you should also worship Melchizedek based on the same Alpha and Omega. Abraham did worship Melchizedek and we are all... Oh, so you're telling... Are you saying Melchizedek was God as well? I'm not saying that. Please. So why did Abraham worship him? You ask me. I'm Abraham asking you. Jesus. You're the one who brought this point up. I don't know. That's, I'm asking okay. the same. So, because it's in your Bible, so I'm assuming you should know. Abraham didn't worship Jesus. 
how do I know these things? I don't know much as a deck. Fine enough, you can he say was, he was okay. So my, my, my point was, there's only two examples in the Bible about Melchizedek. The one where he met Abraham and Abraham gave him 10% of his tithes and yeah. worshipped him. Yeah. And he was blessed in the name of the Most High God. Yeah. And then there's a second part in Hebrews where it says Jesus is a priest and a king in the order of Melchizedek. Yes, but not Melchizedek. Only those, yeah, in but the order Jesus of is not Melchizedek. Do you agree? Yeah, 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 okay, yes. so that is other than Jesus who has no beginning of days, no end of time. No, and who has no genealogy. Yeah. No mother, no father. And no mother, no father. Let's, let's read that. Yeah, read it, God. He's more God than Jesus. Does. Yes. He's better than Jesus. You're right, yeah. He's, he's better than Jesus. No, he's a mysterious figure. He's a mysterious figure. But, but, but what, what, do you know what the word theophany means? Theophany means the um, appearance of Jesus before he was born. Do you know the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Um, in Babylon. Um, do you know Daniel? The book of Daniel. Uh, now, now we're yeah, going off. Prophet yeah. Daniel. Like we're going away from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you bring up that verse? You we're read it about, yourself. We're talking about theophanies. Was so, this a theophany with regards to Melchizedek? Um, potentially. But you just said he wasn't Jesus. Let me just answer this. Um, okay. Answer. Because I it cannot be a theophany. Because after all this, what you just said, how many does that? How many? You know the most important point which he re realizes is that Jesus himself worshipped his father. Jesus was around before he was born. No, did Jesus worship God? Of course he did. Can God worship God? The word of God no. gives praise to God. No, not gives praise, worship. worship. The word of God. Worships God. Well, he was a, well, in human form, of course. Okay, in human form, did Jesus have a religion? Are your words physical? Are oh, my Jesus words physical? Are physical. your words physical? No, they are not physical. Okay. Are yours physical? If, if your words were physical, yeah. would they be a part of you or a part of your creation? My words are a creation. So they're not a part of you? Well, they, they, represent, they represent me. They represent yes, you? Yes, because I'm, you. I'm accountable for my words. Did they come from you? Yes, they did. Okay. And I'm is accountable for my words. Is so, is this is what the claim is for Jesus. The word God is the source. We're all over the Jesus. place. I don't know where we're going. Jesus is a, I don't know where you want, want no, to go. Bro, I, want, I want to show you that. I was talking about the theophany. Yeah, yeah. I was showing you that Melchizedek is not a theophany. A theophany represents something which himself is in the past, which comes then in the future. So if, G if you were going to read the verse, if you read the verse, you realize that he was not Jesus or his theophany. He's talking about Melchizedek. Melchizedek, okay. Yeah, what about him? He's not Jesus in the past. He's someone separate from Jesus. Because Jesus had a mother, do you agree? Yes. Did Melchizedek have a mother? Where well, he says no mother, no father, no genealogy, no genealogy, and no mother, no father as well. Just debating about the divinity of Christ. You want to help him out? You can. No problem. I don't need help. That's fine. I think for a minute, I need help. No problem. Give him a Are you an imam? Are you an imam? No, I'm not. Why do you think I am? The way you speak. You're the the way I speak. I don't know imam speak like me. Are you the Dawa team? Sorry? Are you the Dawa team? We are the Muslim team. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah. The Muslim team. Okay. Yes. Now, because I watch, I watch you on YouTube. I watch you on YouTube. Alex, right? Okay. Is it your first time here? You've been here before? Yeah, mashallah. Welcome to Speaker's Corner. So I didn't mean to interrupt no, 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 your, your discussion earlier. But basically, I want to go back to this atonement through human sacrifice. Because this is something God Almighty abhorred. And he basically told the people, he rebuked the people who were doing it in the Old Testament. They used to, they used to sacrifice their children to Baal. Yes? Baal was the false god of the pagans. And God told them not to sacrifice the children to them. It's basically, in fact, he goes on to say that this did not even occur to God to put such a command to people to sacrifice humans. So how can the only way that Christians can be saved is through this human sacrifice of Jesus? To me, that is contrary to what God preached in the Old Testament. It's Hebrews 7 3. It's Christianity based upon a few, it's not? few concepts. It is. I'm looking for Genesis. Which are wrong. Why are you looking for Genesis? In Hebrews, about no mother, no father, that's in Hebrews 7 3. The genealogy. Yeah. No genealogy, no mother, no father, no beginning of days, no end of time. In fact, that that uh, individual, Melchizedek, is much more. Higher. Yeah, much more, what do you say? Mysterious or much more in terms of his uh, abilities powerful than even Jesus because Jesus at least had two genealogies and he had a mother yes but Melchizedek had no genealogies and no mother and no father 
and yet no, no beginning, beginning of days, no end of time. To me, that sounds like God Almighty. Because yeah. only God can be described as such. So you're acknowledging that God could come on earth as a man? No, I'm saying your Bible says this man... I'm just saying that you said it sounds like God Almighty. No. What's that? You just said that Melchizedek sounds no. like God Almighty. In, in that belief. description, that description to me would fit only to God Almighty. Someone who has no genealogy, someone who has no mother or father, and someone who has no beginning of days or end of time. This is an eternal being who is supernatural. Is Melchizedek not mentioned in the Quran? No, it's not. If that's the case, Melchizedek is not mentioned in the Quran. Al Khidr is not Melchizedek. Yeah, yeah, he says, without, without yeah. father, without mother, without descent, having neither beginning of days nor end of life, is out of need. But made unto, this is exactly what I said. But made like unto the Son of God. Exactly. Abideth a priest continually. So when somebody is made like the Son of God, he's then he's not the Son of God. Just like if you look like your dad, you're not your dad. Yeah. See what I mean? So, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. The Son of God. He was, so that, this is saying that made he like. was made to look like the Son of God, suggesting God... There is a son of God. No, no. When you look like someone, you're not that person. <laughs> the son? Okay, so... If you look like your dad, you're not your dad, are you? Right. That's what it means, basically, in simple English. Okay, so now let's let's move back to the original discussion this brother was having. that's a full understanding. Well, you figure it out then. Okay. Let's go back to the discussion. It's not fair because he started the discussion with you with regards to the atonement of sin. Are you telling me that you cannot be saved? You cannot be atoned for. Your sins cannot be forgiven unless there is a human unless there is a human sacrifice. Unless there's blood sacrifice. A human sacrifice. Blood sacrifice. Human. So you're telling blood me. Sacrifice. So you're telling me. Only God can cover my sins and make me His own blood. Yes. Well, it was never. So, so this is the mystery, and this is what this is what Christ claims. Okay. So He claims to be the sacrifice that the Jews. The tradition that was instituted to the Jews for, for the blood sacrifice, sin, but the blood sacrifice for the Jew is to cover sin. Intentional sin. Yeah, to An cover sin. sin. I understand. Yeah. But but then check for the church, you're gonna be yeah, 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 but put to out. death. But Jesus says, if you look at a woman, it's adultery. Not yeah. actually having okay. sex with them. Okay. Listen, so this, brother. This is a deeper level of understanding of sin. Okay. You're saying the only way anyone can be saved from. I'm not saying that. Uh, this is what the Bible. I says. know. But the Bible also says, other than blood sacrifice, can be atoned. There's an atonement without blood in Leviticus, the, old, the same Old Testament which you're, you're alluding to. So here it is. This is Leviticus chapter 5, verse number 11. It says that, but if his means are insufficient for two turtle doves, that means he's so poor, he cannot even afford two turtle doves or two young pigeons, then for his offering, for that which he has sinned, he shall bring the tenth of an ephah of fine flour. You know the flour you made bread from? Is, does bread, does flour have blood? No, it doesn't. So the Bible says you, he can bring fine flour for a sin offering. That's mercy. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. He shall not put oil on it for peace, for a place. Uh, uh, sorry, put oil on it or place incense on it, for it is a sin offering. So your earlier statement and your assertion that only by blood a sin can be atoned for is completely and utterly false because the Bible says otherwise. You can shake your head. I've just showed you evidence. Let's go back further before this thing. You can bring it up. Let's go back further. Yeah, go further. Cain By the way, Abel. do you disagree with that word? Cain and Abel. No, no, no. Do you disagree? Um, that is not what we're talking about. No, no, but I'm asking you, do you agree? The do man you... said, this gentleman just made the point that they made um, offerings for specific sins, intentional sins. That's what you just said, isn't it? Unintentional sins. Unintentional, unintentional yeah. sins. They had different offerings. This wasn't for, the, for unintentional sins. This, this offering was not the offering to cover the whole of the tribe of Israel. No, but it was this for was, sin offering. Is an individual sin Doesn't matter, it's an individual sin my offering. Po my point is... What? My point is, is that is not the, that is part of the sacrificial system. And Same the original, offering, that's a key point. And the original sacrifice was an animal who Abel sacrificed. So when God instituted the sacrifice, he started with Cain and Abel. This is why Cain's sacrifice was not acceptable, Abel's was acceptable because he knew this, um, this system had to be instituted for a sign of things to come. Alex, can you please answer my question? What's your question? If this is a sin offering, even for an individual... Are you still going on about this? Limit yes, I am. The one that you I don't like. Answer. Well, if you don't have an answer, that's fine. I, I can I can expect it. Sorry, I can accept you saying, I don't know, that's fine. Because that is an honest answer if you don't know. The important point here is this. Three times is mentioned in this particular passage that this is a sin offering. Yes? yes? By flower only. 
which bears no blood whatsoever. How, wait, many, wait, wait, how wait. many other offerings Alex, are there a, with blood? I'll explain a minute. The important point here is to drive this point that if there is something other than blood which is acceptable on the altar as a sin offering, then it should be accepted by you. The only reason you deny it is because for you the, the doctrine of this um, atonement is only by blood. And I don't, I don't dispute that because in the New Testament it does say there is no forgiveness without the shedding of blood. Yes? Hebrews 9, 11, I believe. Yes? The, yeah, it's the words of Paul. And whose blood is that Paul was talking about in that context? Who's, whose blood? Not an animal, right? So it's the blood of a human being. And that is the reason I mentioned the term human sacrifice. So for you, in the New Testament uh, times, in the New Covenant, the only way you can be saved or your sins can be atoned for is by a human sacrifice. Okay, can you be saved by anyone, any, only God, wait, wait, only God anyone's blood other than that of Jesus only in the New God, Covenant? Only God can save me. And God that's manifested. Better, that's good, that's so whose blood is it? Are you saying God's blood? You don't need blood. Whose blood is God it? God can't have blood because it's spirit. Good. So whose blood is it then? But God's spirit is what Jesus was full of. Alex, whose Jesus, blood is it Jesus then? Jesus never had a father, physical father. I agree. His father I agree. was the Holy Spirit. So he had... No, no, his father wasn't the Holy Spirit. Well, that's your opinion. No, what about God the Father? Says, the Bible says God impregnated Mary with the Holy Spirit. That's what the Bible says. The, um, no, no, not impregnated with the Holy Spirit. Impregnated by the Holy Spirit. What's the difference? Big difference. Tell me what the difference is. The difference is if you're impregnated with the Holy Spirit. Either way, you never had the dad. Alex, you asked me to ask. You never had sperm. You asked me to clarify. There I'm no clarifying. Sperm. Calm down. I if if he if he was impregnated with the Holy Spirit, then the Holy Spirit will be the will be the baby. But if he was in, if she was impregnated by the Holy Spirit, then th this is like the medium by which Jesus was born. This is born. your understanding. So okay, look, Mary who is the father? Mary provided the egg, which is the physical substance that made Jesus his body. Mm. God provided the spirit, which is his mental and emotional everything. Yes. His internal workings were in alignment 100% with God. Ours are not because we're born of a physical father and a physical mother who are both um, fallen. What was the we point? What's the point? Are you saying Mary wasn't fallen? Mary was perfect. Like what, as was per she not as perfect as we Was she get. not fallen? Um, she was fallen. Like she was human. So and wasn't perfect, so she, right? So she, didn't so she wasn't perfect. Didn't the sin? She, she inherited sin. How, how did Jesus? How did? You mentioned the egg. How, how did Jesus not inherit the sin from her? Yeah. You mentioned the egg because I didn't mention it. You okay. did. You, you seem to know the genealogy of Jesus. I told you, I, I don't know much. I told you this at the start. I told you about scholar. I've only gone off the, the little bits that I know. So please stop putting these accusations. Up I me. didn't. You said you mentioned. You're trying to make me out to be the bad guy. I'm My friend, you're the one who mentioned egg. I didn't say you're the bad guy. Right what about him? Is he disturbing you? Bro, stop staring at him. <laughs> I'm trying to have a conversation with you, brother. Yeah, I know, but I, I said, I, yeah, I said you mentioned egg of Mary. I didn't do that. You did. What does that signify? Well, I, an egg is an egg. Your your 23 chromosomes come from the mother's side and 23 from the father's side. So if you're mentioning egg of the of Mary, then you are somehow assuming that he got the DNA from Mary. He got his part of his DNA, DNA. Part of his DNA. Yes. From Mary. Yes. So the question now arises: Why did? That's my understanding. Yeah, yeah. Because earlier you said that DNA, the sin is also in the DNA somehow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The question now I'm asking you, based on what you said is why did the sin not come through Mary to Jesus? Because the Holy Spirit overpowered it. Is that mentioned in the Bible? Overpowered the DNA? So did he Does carry, it mention did he that the Holy Spirit? Sin? Okay, so, but did he carry the so wait there, we have an egg, a human egg. Yeah. We have the Spirit of the Almighty, living, true and living God who created the universe. Which is more powerful? God is powerful. So then the egg is irrelevant. So why you mentioned it? You mentioned it. <laughs> no, no, I'll leave it you there. You mentioned the city. I will let the, I'll let the audience okay, decide who mentioned no it. Say no more. Yeah, good. Thank you for talking. Now, no, no, but the important point which I was trying to raise is this. If if the only way for your forgiveness, brothers, guys, can you please? If the only way for you to forgive, be forgiven is by the blood of whom? The animals or Jesus? The, the for you, you as a Christian me, now, 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 yes. The only way for me to be forgiven yes. is to repent of my sins. So the blood, the blood sacrifice is irrelevant. The blood sacrifice makes my request valid. Okay. Now, whose blood sacrifice? Well, there, there was only one. Which is? Yeshua. Jesus. Yes. 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 That blood is of a human or of God? Well, he was a human and God. No, no. Whose blood was it? 
human. Well, from his body, that it was his, it was his human side, didn't it? Good. So, so can we say that was a what drove him to sacrifice himself? Alex, God, we get Alex. Up to there. So, so then one, we have one at a time. One, one, one point at a time. When you say the blood is of that human, can we say that this was he a? Was perfect. Let yeah, me finish my statement. Not, Let me finish my statement. Was can we say that whoever died on the cross was a human? It was God's word manifested that died on the cross. Yeah. The the, the um, nation had just rejected God. They my, said we don't want the friend, Messiah. Let's stick to the question I'm asking. Yeah, I'm not something. It. It's like I'm me asking you, what's your name? You tell me I live in London. Okay. Okay. The question is this. Who died on the cross, God or human? You're asking me a rhetorical question. We no, it's know. not. It's not. If it was rhetorical, yes, then you would easily know that the answer is human. But because you are somehow reluctant to say that, I want to clarify from you who died on the cross, God or human? Both. So God can die according to you? No, the human can. Yes, I know the human can, but you said both. So who died once again, God or human? Jesus was God's word manifested, so both died on the cross. Can God die? Did God, did Jesus rise again? Yes, he did, according so to you. So died? <laughs> okay, so, so, so right here. Alex, what are you even listening to yourself? Are you listening to yourself? Are you saying that one day when you will be resurrected, that means you will never die? When I'm resurrected, I'll have an immortal body. Will so you ever die? Will you ever die? I'll never die when no, no. I'm resurrected. Will you ever die? Of course I will, because I'm Good. immortal. So one day you will be resurrected too, right? Right. Does that mean you never died? Of course you died. The reason you were resurrected is because you big, died. That's a big jump. Logic, yeah. It's not a big jump. It's, it a, very a, big simple, jump. So, it's so, a very simple statement. No, it's not because Jesus died three days later, risen again. I die. Thousands of years later, judgment day happens, then I resurrect again. Doesn't oh, matter. The time difference is the same. Time difference doesn't matter. Also, also, the fact that also, you were. I never resurrected myself. God is going to resurrect me. Same like His Jesus. Spirit. Same yeah, like yeah. Jesus. Exactly, which is what He made accessible to us. Okay, anyway. He made it the point, to The us. point I'm making is this Can God die? Yes or no? Simple question. I require a simple answer. Can a spirit die? No. That's what you're asking. No. Me. A spirit doesn't okay. die, a spirit unless, die unless unless God wants it to die. Okay. For I me, agree. for me, angels are spirit, and if God wants, angels can die. Can do it. Good. So the question once again: Can God die? No. Good. Because he's spirit in it. So now the question is this: Who died on the cross, God or man? The body of Jesus. Which is man. But the spirit was alive. I know. I'm not saying no. Okay. When you die, your spirit. Will... This is why I'm saying we're having a, a war of, of words. No, we're not. What no, no, you no, define? No, no, no. Oh, sorry, not war. No, no. We're debating, and the words that you're using, no, it's not. I might not define not. the same way that you de define. You know why we're not talking about the same thing? It's like when you and I die, our bodies will perish, yes, and our spirits or soul will carry on, depending on where God wants it to carry on. The question is this: just like. You and I will die, which is basically like the brother when you was asked when you asked him the question, what is death? Remember you asked him the question? He said death is a separation of the soul from the body. And that is what death. Did that happen to Jesus? Yes, it did. Whether he died for three days on three nights is irrelevant. The fact that he died proves that he's not immortal. The fact that you and I will die proves that we are not immortal. The fact that God Almighty will never ever die proves that only he is immortal. Now back to the question about if God Almighty never dies, because He is the only one who is immortal, the question is, on the cross, somebody died, according to your belief. Yes? Definitely that wasn't God. Do we agree on this? God doesn't die. The one who died was human. That means, you know what, when I say died, means the one whose body, sorry, whose soul separated from the body, was a human. So that person, the second person of the Trinity, is someone who died. Okay, from the three who died, tell me. From the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, who died? Father, Word, Holy Spirit. The Word, who we call Jesus, never dies. So who died? The, God, the Word of God is eternal. So Jesus, the Word of God, was with God in the beginning because he's his Word. He was with God when he was on earth because he's his Word. And after he was um, killed and he resurrected back up again and he lives with God now because he's his Word. So what we're saying is, is he God, is he man? It's a difficult one for people to comprehend it's not because difficult. he was both. It's not difficult. My question to you was very simple. From the three, from the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit who died for you. You said the, God, the Word didn't die. God. Okay. God died for me. But you just said God doesn't die earlier. Exactly. It's a paradox. It's not a paradox. You it's a contradiction. We can't understand. Okay, so now you're going against God himself because God in the Bible says he is immortal. You're, you're saying he can die. 
Who should I believe, the Bible or you? I didn't say God's good guy. You just said it. I said he's both. Did he not say that? I said he's both. Okay, once again, who died you know from the three? No, I am. I'm trying to figure out because you're contradicting yourself every other minute. Once again, from the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, who died for you? From the Father, His Word, and His Holy Spirit. So who died? Who died? Yeah. No one died. Okay, so no one paid for your sins. <laughs> After all that. No After died. all that. Is Jesus alive? Alex. Wait there. Is Jesus alive Alex? now? Alex. Is Jesus alive Alex? now? Alex. According to the Quran. Alex. Is Jesus alive Alex? now? Can I answer? So then. Can I answer? God never died. Can I answer? Can I answer? If you're asking me according to the Quran, Jesus never died. So of course he's alive. Never been crucified. So if Jesus is still alive. No, no. Listen. Jesus never died. That means he was never crucified. Yeah, the Quran, but, but, but if the Quran's wrong and he did die... No, but you're telling me according to the Quran. I'm telling you according to the Quran. Okay, according no, to the I'm Quran, you, Allah says in the Quran, so وَمَا قَتَلُهُ وَمَا سَلَبُهُ وَلَكِنْ شُبْيَ اللَّهُ Now, this clearly states that he was not, neither killed nor was he crucified, but it appeared to them so. Now, if Jesus never died, yes, you know why Jesus never died? Because Allah hasn't sinless. because he no no he not because sinless. no 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 That's what the Bible no says. all the prophets are sinless according to us Secret so if you're asking me according to the Quran hold on my friend you're going all over the place if you're asking me about the Quran let me also according to the Quran because according to the Quran Allah has another mission for him his mission is not yet complete okay so just like you believe in the second coming of Jesus we believe in the second coming you know which I get it, I get listen, it. listen 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 this is why you're, Alex um, why you're um, 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 debating your point from, from your understanding, which is the Quran's understanding. Actually, I use most of the time the Bible. Not only now I use the Quran. Only now I use the Quran. Is that not right? Have I have I mentioned the Quran before this? No, I did not. Okay. Anyway, Alex, I think you have confirmed. Alex, you have confirmed that neither the Father, nor the Son, or nor the Holy Spirit died for you. There is only one God. So in other words, this one God did not die for you. You're talking about. Shall we agree?